Hi all, I'm Jessica, and today we'll be watching a scene by two advanced students, Mary Beth Sink and Stephen Knight. The play is called Christmas Present by Amy Herzog. Enjoy, and we'll chat about it after. Thanks. Oh, hi. Sorry. Hi. Sorry. Good morning. Um, <laughs> Good morning. I, I couldn't I sleep. I don't want to talk. I didn't want to wake you. I'm sorry, what? No, I'm sorry. I was interrupting you. Oh. Go ahead. Um, I don't want to hold you up. I was just wondering if I can get your contact information. Not for... Not like... I, I'm not delusional. It would only be like... Um, in case. In, in case? Um, oh, don't worry. I'm not like trying to date you. I... Because I know this isn't how dating begins. Um, because I'm not a lunatic, despite whatever you might be thinking. <laughs> no, no, hey. Actually, I, I, I don't even think I need um, your phone number. I think just an email uh, would probably be fine. Uh, uh, not that email? I would ever need it. I mean, most likely I would never even use it. It would only uh, be in case. In case what? Like in case something goes wrong. I mean, we were careful. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm always careful, but I'm usually pretty unlucky. Which, I'm not saying that to freak you out, um, or anything like that. Because uh, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, totally. You said you were on the pill, right? Totally, totally. And, and we used... Yeah, um, I just, but I happen to be a very fertile person. Which I've had the opportunity to discover, unfortunately. Anyways, <laughs> obviously, the huge likelihood is that I'm, I'm never going to need it. Um, you know, honestly, if it's that big of a deal, I'm not going to force you to. Well, uh, so, uh, actually, I... Also, um, STD. So, <laughs> I literally just took a physical, and I had a oh. whole, whole buttload of tests on it, right? And they all came back negative. Great. I mean, me too. <laughs> but, you know, things don't turn out... Do you think I'm lying? I, I mean, I don't, I don't know you. Okay. Okay, that's fair. Um... We used a condom. Yeah, but that doesn't protect against several diseases. No? Which ones? Herpes. You don't know this? HPV? Which, I mean, everybody already has it anyways, but... Everybody? Yeah, I mean, like, 70% of the sexually active population, yes. 70%? Yeah. Okay, cool. I, then I don't have it. How do you know? Well, I, I didn't test positive for it, for one. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? What's up? Uh, men never test positive for it. Like, the test for men sucks. So all these men are going around claiming to be HPV free, but nearly every sexually active woman has it, so it's coming from somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I honestly, I don't think I have it. Well, you do now. Great! Okay, um... um relax, okay? There, there, there's, there's no symptoms for men. Which one's the one that gives you genital warts? It's HPV. But, but the one that I have doesn't give you genital warts. It, it gives you cervical cancer. So if you okay. get cervical cancer, I will owe you a huge apology. You didn't think about telling me any of this last night. I mean, I, everybody has it. You already had it. I have only ever slept with one other woman in my life. So, so you probably didn't have it. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, it's, uh, it's, it's a virus, so it never technically completely goes away, uh, but your immune system should kick in in like two to three years. Two. Okay, that's good news, I guess. I mean, in the meantime, you're probably gonna get infected with a different strain anyways, because there's more than like 30 different kinds of HPV. Uh, how many did you just give me? I, I honestly don't know. Is that a joke? Yes. Yeah, it was, it was a joke. Okay. It was a joke. It was funny. <laughs> Listen, I... 
Thanks. I legitimately feel shitty about this. I mean, how was I supposed to know that you've only slept with one other? I mean, I, I couldn't tell from. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, so cervical cancer. Yeah. Uh, you don't have cervical cancer. Yes. No. No. Oh, no. Good. no uh, I, mean, I had a pap smear that came back a little weird. Um, and then I had to get a colonoscopy, but that's fine. So everything's fine. Everything's good. Good. Yeah. Great. Yep. Are you Jewish? What? Are you Jewish? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, I heard you. Um, I'm not, but I'm pretty sure that's not contagious. No, no, God, and I, look, even if it was, I'd, I'd already have it, you know, I, I got that one from my mom. So, no worries. Okay. I'm sorry, why are you asking Oh, no, this? sorry. I, it's the 25th of December. You don't have a tree, and now we're talking about pap smears, so I just, you know. It's smears. Who? It's smears. It's a pap smear. It's, it's not a schmear. Oh, right, it's yeah, because... It's a smear. Smears, yeah, because smears would be like on, on bagels, right? Like I like, a, I like scallion pap smears. Uh, I, it, I like mine on locks. This is... um, yeah, uh, no, my, my family does celebrate Christmas, but we're not really very religious. But uh, mm. actually, I have to get packing soon. I'm going to go to Connecticut today to see them. Connecticut? I thought... Wait, isn't like Christmas morning supposed to be the thing? It is. I'm sorry, can, can we not talk about this? Actually? Yeah, I yeah, hey, look, I, I wouldn't even know what I'm talking about, okay? I, my family, we always did Chinese food and movies on Christmas, which, yeah, might be a Jewish cliche, but they moved to Florida this year, so. Which, incidentally, is another Jewish cliche, isn't it? Look, it's. <laughs> There's no reason I can't spend the day by myself, right? It's just because our culture is so Christian-centric that I feel bad if I spend the day alone. But, you know, what's Christmas to me? It's not Christ, it's not Mass, so if any other day I'd be cool going to see a movie by myself, I shouldn't let Christmas stop me, right? Christmas shouldn't stop me. I think a movie sounds great. Yeah? yeah I, I wish I could see a movie. You're not excited to see your family? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to do this. Do what? I didn't mean to blur you into a conversation. I was seriously just gonna get your email you don't, address you don't and have not to. use it. Um, I, listen, hey. I, I, I get what a one night stand is. I, I totally do. You don't. You do that a lot. I'm sorry, what? You, I get it. I'm not delusional, I'm not a lunatic. You say that a lot. Okay. What I mean, you don't have to justify anything to me. I'm the amateur in this situation, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, in fact, I would actually like to hear about Christmas in Connecticut. Really? Come on. What was it like? Um, well, <laughs> um, for the last three years, I've spent Christmas morning in New Jersey with my boyfriend's family. Wait, -boy boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I drive to my parents' house for an early dinner in Connecticut. Got it. I haven't told them yet that he's not coming this year. When did you two break up? Over last Christmas. Last Christmas? So, I'm relatively new to HPV as well, just to bring it full circle. You haven't told them you've broken up? I mean, not with words, no. Why not? They really liked him. Yeah, was it because he was really religious? I mean, not so much him, 
But his family, yeah. I mean, I guess, I don't know, I guess he was too in a weird way. And, and you said you were really fertile. Okay, what are you, like Nancy Drew or something? I'm Let's sorry? I'm, if, if you have some huge aversion to giving me your email address, it's, it's just something that I do, okay? Okay. It just, it makes me feel more responsible. But if you don't want to do it, that's fine. It's, it's totally fine. Hey. I can just forget hey, that this listen. happened and have a Shh. Merry Christmas. No? No. Okay. No. No. You, you just, you don't, you don't have to do this. I, I don't have to do... You're, you're, you're really nice. Okay. You're not an asshole. <laughs> uh, thanks. Um... I think you should enjoy your Jewish movie. You want me to go? I, uh, I have to, I have to pack. I gotta okay. get the zip car, I gotta, there's a lot of traffic yeah. today, so. Yeah, 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 of course. Makes sense. I'm sorry, I, I don't, I don't mean to be rude. No. No, 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 it's okay. I get it. I really am sorry about the HPV. Uh, me too. Condoms really do reduce the risk of transmission, so you probably are fine. But just don't believe those tests, because they're, they're, they're bullshit. Got it. Oh, uh, I, I saw Lars in The Real Girl. It was good. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was, it was bad, actually. Uh, okay. It was terrible, I'd say. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying that. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Um, bye. Bye. Good luck with everything. Hi, uh, sorry, um, no, I just, I remembered, I left a note on your dresser, um, which might seem a little embarrassing after this whole conversation, but, um, all my info's on there, email included. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Wow, so as you can see, this was a really great example of two people living truthfully under the imaginary circumstances, right? I mean, tell me, I would love to hear from you all what you thought was good about this, because there's so much that's good in the scene. They have an understanding of who they are to each other, it's very awkward, um, they understood what just happened and, and what they want to happen, right? By their behavior, you could tell exactly who they are to each other and what's going on, correct? Um, they also take pauses, they listen, they respond, they're so present with each other, and when they're talking, it looks like they're talking because they want an answer, right? This is something we talk about all the time. I feel like in the acting world, World. A lot of times we, we basically just say our line and we're waiting for that keyword, but we're not really saying our line wanting a response or curious about how the person is going to react. But in real life, that's exactly what we do. When we ask a question, we, we look at the person because we, we know that behavior is so much more than words, right? That's what I see here. I see these two people really connecting, really listening, really just present with each other, but also having such a strong understanding of what's going on. This is what we're working towards in our scene work. I hope you enjoyed it. And once again, if you'd like to join us for a free online class, please click the link below. See you next time. Thanks everyone. Mm -hmm.